Alright, now that I did the sun, the moon, Mercury, Venus, Jupiter, Mars, Saturn. Uh, I'm gonna do all the get. I'm gonna do all the the far out outer planets in one video because they all they so far out that they all hold a similar significance to our life as a generation. But at the same time, depending on how many squares and oppositions and trines and sextiles you have, you can actually people will actually see you as as these signs. Like, okay, like look for an example. I don't give a fuck. What sun, moon, or rising you have? If you have a particular planet, and if and if that and if that planet has the most sextiles, uh, trines, squares, uh, oppositions, quincunxes, like if it had, whatever planet has the most aspect, the most aspects in your natal chart, people could very well confuse you for that sign like it doesn't matter your sun or moon sign like say 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 your mars is in a say look say your mars is in a pacific sign but it has the most aspects like it has it has a trine here two sex two sextiles here a opposition here a trine here you will act in your mars sign like you will be your mars sign like if say 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 you had a sun sign Virgo and your Mars is in Scorpio, or your Mars is in Le say your Mars is in Libra, right? But your sun sign is in Virgo, right? Now, say your Mars, your your Mars is is square. Say your Mars is in Libra, right? So say your Mars is a, like a semi square to to Virgo. Is, is in another semi-square because your Mercury may be in Virgo. It may be a sextile because it may be a sextile to your Jupiter. You know what I'm saying? Because Jupiter may be in Leo. Then, and, and then it, it may have, it may square Pluto, Neptune, and Saturn. Like, it say it just has the most aspects. You will be your Mars sign. People will see you as a Libra. And your and, and your sun sign may be Virgo, so you may be a practical as Lib you may be a practical detail orientated Libra, you know what I'm saying? So it really holds no weight. Like planets are just the energy is the way it's getting played out. Now, for an example, the sun, moon, and the rising, the reason why it appears to be the most important because in the sky it appears to be the most important. So when it get played out on Earth through humans, it appear to be the most important. What's the sun? The sun is like life. When the sun come up, trees grow, all that shit, like everything, whatever, like that. So the sun with inside you, that's what it do. It's your life. It is what it would wake you up. It's your vitality. It's your which which you're into. Trees are into growing. So if you are a sun sign, um, uh, say a sun a sun sign fucking Sagittarius, you are into learning. If you a fucking sun sign uh, freaking cancer, you are you are into caring. Like, you in, into your emotional state. It's the shit you're into. That's the sign of your life. Your, your path. The shit you're into. The moon. The moon has a, a, a cycle, a, a menstrual cycle. It, it, it wanes. It wax. It, uh, it, it, it gets weak. It wakes up. That, the same way it plays out down here. Your mind. Your mind uh, goes through cycles. It, it changes thoughts just as fast as the moon. It goes in a circle. Sometimes it's weak. Sometimes it's strong. You know what I'm saying? It's the same shit. And your rising is where the sun was a is where the sun appears to be rising from an earth perspective from the axis and from where you are and your place is on earth at the moment so what happens is that's the closest aspect so what's arising the rising dictates how the day gonna look how, how the day look how the day play out how the how the day start so what when that plays out in your rising how you look how your natural personality is how you gonna how you gonna play things out like how, what what kind of path what kind of life path is already set up for you and your sun is how you gonna go about it and your moon is how is how you gonna react to it sun your sun is how you act on it your moon is how you react on it so naturally the sun moon and rising is you 
But if you got a lot of squares and oppositions and shit to your sun, moon, and rising from another planet, then you could very well be acting in that realm, that sign. You are really that sign. Like, you know what I'm saying? That These are traits you're carrying out. You know what I'm saying? It's just, the, it's just all, it's all energies. If, if I want to wake up right now and say, man, I, I, ain't, I ain't my sun sign. I'm, I'm, I'm my... I'm my Mars sign. I'm my Saturn sign. You can't stop me from doing that. And I could and I could sit here and portray traits from that every day. You know what I'm saying? So but this goes back to the part of we talking about Neptune, Pluto, and Uranus. Now Uranus Uranus is like I don't even know why they incorporate Pluto with this, but Uranus is more about change. Radical change change that's unexpected that's pluto is more like power pluto is more like someone given the power to make change your uranus is just change period wherever uranus is gonna kick in you're gonna see a lot of change changes pluto wherever pluto's kicked in is gonna give that particular party the power to change you know what i'm saying so like Pluto's in Capricorn. Pluto's going to give the jujitsu system and, and like the law and all that. It's going to give that the power, the power to change. Say you talking about um, uh, motherfucking um, uh, Uranus. Wherever Uranus at, shit just going to change. Period. Radical change. Like change like revolutionary change type shit. From a large scale to a small scale. A small revolutionary scale is... Uh, changes a gas station may change the name and go up on the gas prices that's a small scale of a revolutionary change because everybody been going to that gas station paying that price for gas and y'all just changed on us now Pluto and Pluto say is the same scenario with Pluto Pluto wherever Pluto's at and if we're dealing with a gas station it would Pluto would give the people the power to protest or the power to do something to have that change back to normal you know what I'm saying? To have that, to be like, no, gas is too high. We don't do this. You'll see news channels, all that shit, talking about gas too high and all that shit. That's what Pluto do. Pluto gives the power to change. Uranus just gives change power. You know what I'm saying? And then Neptune is the dream. You know what I'm saying? It's the it's the it's the dream, the illusionary. It's it's the water of the world. It, it's like it's 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 from a little bit of as it was it was throughout after the moon and Saturn. Neptune was throughout after that. It appears to be further though, because um, the time frames and all that shit when they started utilizing shit. But like Neptune, Neptune is unique because Neptune is part of the illusion. Neptune is like is it plays out like the moon, but it it is it's not is is it's what the moon created. Like the moon got its illusionary ideas from Neptune. Like without Neptune, the moon wouldn't even know nothing about illusions. The moon would just be creating shit and making people really think it's real. Which people are people do that now because the moon is so close to the earth. And if you live on Earth, from an Earth perspective, moon gonna have more of an impact. But at the same time, people are people still understand that it's all in your head to a certain degree. I don't care how much you may think something real. I don't care how much you may think something fake. The 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 moon always gives you an idea to a certain degree that is still all in your is in your mind. Without Neptune though, you wouldn't have knew that though. See, Neptune is the illusion. Neptune is the is 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 the energy of the illusion itself. It's it's a walking illusion. Like, when I'm sitting here talking to you about illusion, you have to think of something. You have to break it down into definition, like what an, an illusion is. Like, an illusion is something you thought to be real, but it's not. But, when Neptune kicks in, this is the illusion. Like, without the energy of Neptune, you wouldn't even be able to have a definition about an, an illusion. That's like the point I'm trying to say. It's like, a, a Neptune has... An ability to create but it also has the ability to be the creator so Neptune is just creating a lot of shit and people are taking Neptune beings are using utilizing the Neptune energy 
and 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 using Saturn and the moon to filter it to make it seem like to make it seem like it's not real. That like it's not real and it is just an illusion. It is all in your head. But a lot of these illusions are real. Like like without Neptune, we wouldn't have movies. We wouldn't have cartoons. We wouldn't have um this is the energy with Neptune going on and shit. We wouldn't have um like little shit like that. You wouldn't have, um, it's like hard to, I don't even know what I'll be looking half of the time, like the dot there, the, but look, like Neptune, um, it, 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 it creates the, it creates the thing, it, it creates that illusion image to be filtered. Like you need, you like, for an example, you need Saturn to take the time to manifest something. You need Mars to sit there and put it into action to make it physical. Boom. So we can get a camera out of that. Right? We need we need the idea of what a camera can do. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever like that. That's dealing with the moon. You know what I'm saying? We need we need we need um we need to know how to put it together. You know what I'm saying? That's Mercury. You know what I'm saying? Our the, the shit that we are putting together, that's our sun. That's our that's the shit we into or whatever like that. The, the the more we get into it, the more we learn how we're supposed to do to put it together. That's when Jupiter kicks in. Um, that's when uh, Jupiter kicks in. Now you have uh, now you have you have Neptune, Uranus, and Pluto. Uranus is gonna bring about any changes that has to become. Now, the camera may break or something like that or whatever like that. Whatever changes that may come for you to go back to the drawing board and make a, a, a larger impact on something, that's where Uranus comes in. Pluto going to give you the power to actually orchestrate it. Like, so, you know, you're going to have power to have to have a little bit of dominion over people. Like, to have people participate and do other shit like that, whatever like that. Then when we get to Neptune, Neptune is actually the visuals that's going to go through it. Neptune is actually the visuals. The, the actual visuals. So when you go to a movie theater, the actors that's playing in it, killing everybody, you know that's not real, but it's made to look real. Now, the reason why we're going to sit back and be like, this is not real, is because we still have the moon and Saturn here. So that's that's filtering the illusion to make us think like, well, it's, it's all in our head. But in some sphere of reality, that illusion is very real. Like, very real. You wouldn't even be able to think of, think of it if it didn't exist. So, you know what I'm saying? That's that's just a, a little precon precondition on understanding the outer planets. Uranus is 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 a um Uranus is a say if these was people, Uranus is a person looking to Uranus will be a person who already know how to express themselves. So they want to express it through a large group a large grouping to understand to under to to let them know that this is the right understanding neptune is the opposite of that is that going this way going in you're going to want to communicate with a lot of people a large grouping to understand your to understand itself neptune will go out in a large grouping of people and communicate to understand itself. Uranus will understand itself and go out to a large grouping of people to try to make other people understand it. it. Pluto is behind both of these. P Pluto can give both of these power. But if Pluto was a person, Pluto is a person who don't give a fuck who don't give a fuck about any group settings. It just gives a f it, it only gives a fuck about what's going on at the moment. And whatever is going on at the moment, they're able to translate that through a groupings or with themselves. But they don't need a grouping or themselves. Pluto actually likes to be to them to themselves. If it was a person, a Pluto Pluto would like to be to itself because if it can't go out and obtain any power, it got power and dominion over itself, and that's really all it needs to have a. A own personal relationship. Per the word personal itself, Pluto made it cr created that. You know what I'm saying? So Pluto is is the transformation of yourself. You may want to get up one day and stop smoking. That's a Pluto energy. Depending on how many 
of your planet is Pluto squaring or sextile or something like that, that's the effect that it have on you. You just wake up one day and, and have the power to change. I don't want to smoke no more. Uranus, Uranus a kick, kick in if, if we're talking about smoking. Whatever aspect it has in your life or your chart, whatever, or squares this opposition, it's, Uranus a cause something in your life to make, to make you have to quit smoking. Like, Something happened, you could catch cancer or get sick or something like that. Now nah, that's a drastic, drastic change that make you have to quit smoking. Neptune, shit, Neptune may just make you start smoking, nigga. <laughs> if you didn't smoke, Neptune may, may just make you start smoking, nigga. So you know that that's that's you know that's just a quick little analysis of the outer planets. I'm gonna make another video about outer planets, talking on a, a lower scale of it. But I just want to get to a, a little higher scale on it. Of some of these, so you can utilize these energies. Now, next video I make about the planet is going to be about what do they actually do for you. These was just the, these me talking about the planets just now is just talking about the energies behind it. It's it's like like if you go to go on somebody's page and they have a video, then they talk about all the planets and then they move on or something like that. Listen, it doesn't stop there. Like each planet hold a significance of lifetime. A lifetime of information. Information never stop. And I'm getting y'all prepared for that right now. The, this quick rundown I just did of these planets, the ten planets, that was just that aspect of it. That wasn't that wasn't the real that that, that was real. But there's so many aspects and perspectives on it, and, I, and I'm gonna give them all. You know what I'm saying? So by the by the time I get my wings back. And, and as a nation, we all come together, which is my soul group, and we all can really show what true power is. We gonna we gonna see. We gonna put this shit to work. We gonna we gonna actually make these motherfucking energies and these beings who utilizing the shit. We gonna actually make them make themselves physical so we can see them and and, and fight a good fight. You know what I'm saying? Flight boss, bitch. You know for sure. And hey, I'm telling you that the fight is almost coming too. Everything is breaking down. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I'm I'm gonna get y'all prepared to what to look for like y'all probably don't even know what to look for to even know it's a war so the more and more y'all watching me the more and more i'm gonna get y'all down to the diggity down but i gotta get I, to me this is surface level this may be a little deep for a lot of people but to me this is surface level but i'm finna start diving deep now we finna really start going, going there. We we gonna go there to the point that you're gonna have uh you're gonna have a great understanding on how the what kind of war it is, how the war gonna be played out, how you see, how can you actually see the war? Because a lot of people they hear me talking, but they just still living life, so they don't even know what to look for. They don't even know what to see to be like. All right, let's go attack this. Like I'm, I'm gonna get y'all into that. I'm just right now I'm working y'all in. I can't jump down there without bringing y'all from there. Like it, it, it's not gonna make any sense. It's really not gonna make any sense. I may not even be making sense to y'all now, but it's a it's a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna gradually break it down to the point that I could really start telling y'all what I see. You know what I'm saying? I feel I could really start telling y'all. I could just explain it right now, but I wanna get to the point where I can tell y'all and we could all be on the same page and we could go ahead and fight this good fight. Flight boss bitch, you know, for sure. Air flights. <laughs>